I just thought I'd do a quick update on my current off-grid system that I'm currently working on. Uh, to start we have got two 400 Dugongi solar panels. They're running at 37 volts open circuit voltage. I've got them two running in series, uh, roughly putting about 64 volts. Uh, from there it goes down into back trunking, across and then into built storage that I've made. From solar panels it comes down into a 63 amp 500 volt DC fuse that then goes down into a EP ever MPPT solar charge controller I think that's 30 amp uh, there's a screen for it that's currently in house I've run cable that goes all the way down and it runs all the way up and then through into house uh, from there then it goes into a buzz bar which I've currently got a power bank running off it I've got a small 30 volt 5 amp charger because I'm just currently finishing off top balancing my batteries uh, the batteries are currently running uh, 105 amp at 12 volts so I've got two batteries in parallel running off of one JKB MS the JKB MS that I've got running, it's the 8 cell 200 amp, it's the 2 amp version with the active balancer. It's a fantastic bit of kit and it's got me out of some sticky situations with my battery bank because being the cheap Chinese version batteries, they don't always uh, balance very good at top, top end so it, it really has kept them in check as well I think. I think deviation on cells is between 10 and 15 millivolts at top end, so it's it's really fantastic. The inverter that I'm running is the 1100 watt EcoWorthy inverter. It's a 12 volt to 230 volt si uh, pure sine wave inverter, and I think as a budget inverter, it's fantastic. It cost me 119 pound in sale, I think. Uh, so it's, it really is a good inverter. I think eventually I'm going to upgrade to a 20 volt, 24 volt, 230 amp inverter, probably two kilowatts, something like that. But for the time being, this is this is going to do me just fine. From the inverter, it runs into an automatic transfer switch. This is fed by two and a half mil twin in earth. It's currently just in testing at the minute because I'm not 100% sure if the switching is going to be fast enough for where I want it for because I've got routers and stuff like that running off it. So it's currently just wired up for testing just to make sure it runs fine and that. But once it once it's done and sorted and I decide, I'll, I'll put it in properly then. From the automatic transfer switch then, it runs into me consumer unit. I've got one plug that runs to fridge freezer in kitchen and then I've got one plug then that runs into living room that runs my TV, soundbar, Xbox, router, things like that and it also feeds me pond pump as well to keep that running. Uh, the automatic transfer switch has got a grid feed onto it that runs separate so if power does run uh, in my battery it will automatically transfer to grid and keep everything powered up. On my consumer unit, I've got a 30 milliamp RCD uh, that then feeds into two 6 amp breaker uh, MCBs because I'm not running full loads and maximum load I'm going to be running is about 600 watts. I think the 6, six amp MCBs will be fine, but I have got a 32 amp MCB as well just in case I need it to run any power in future when I upgrade to a bigger inverter. In winter, when we ain't got enough sun to charge my batteries and everything, I've got the Victron Blue Smart Charger. It's the 12 volt, 30 amp, one outlet. What I've done is I've run that off a smart plug so I can control when it comes on and when it goes off. So I can turn it on when we've got cheap electricity and then turn it off then when we go on to higher rate electricity then so I can run it as cheap as possible. 
so that's an overview of my system if anybody's got any questions please leave any comments down below and i'll get back to you as soon as i can